It's great to meet you. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, I've been speaking to Jimmy Nesbitt about the tone of the film because mm. it's much lighter than, than Lord of the Rings, but ultimately it's a story of revenge based on or around your character. Is that kind of how you approached him? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously because um, when I'm preparing Thorin, I'm, I'm looking at the story through his eyes. So um, he comes into a, into a world with, with a big burden on his shoulders and, and his world becomes more oppressive. Um, Yes, the tone of the of the first film was very um, light and, and uh, <clears throat> in places, um, but yeah, it is gonna it is gonna darken uh, as as the world closes in and they get closer to the mountain and the dragon, which is this this terrible uh, beast. Um, but yeah, uh, Thorin's Thorin's revenge story is is certainly. Um, at the center of, of his drive forward. You know, that's that's why he's there. And then right at the end of the first film, it's almost as if you become accepting of your place in this small group and accepting of, of, of the character of Bilbo within it as well. But things are gonna get very different and kind of very dark. So do you see the next two films as being like a new beginning for your character? Definitely, I mean, movie two, um, <clears throat> in terms of, the relationship between uh, Thorin and Bilbo, um, it, they're in a good place at the beginning of movie two, which then n neither of them expected to be. Um, and that, that relationship is going gonna, is gonna to sort of float very nicely through the film and, and hopefully develop into, into somewhere where they can be at, at one with each other, really, which is pretty unexpected. But then, of course, in, in the third act of, of the story, it uh, becomes pretty destructive because that's almost like key to, to your character, isn't it? In the sense that you never quite know where he is. He's been affected by the burden on his shoulders, the situation he's in, and then he's confronted and you have to make those decisions, don't you? And it all goes... Yeah, and the, the, I mean, he, he is torn in, in a number of directions because, he, you know, he has the revenge. He has the revenge on Smaug, the revenge on Azog, this pursuit by Azog. <clears throat> and also the, the, um, the desire to reclaim his kingdom, the wealth, the Arkenstone, which gives him the right to be king, um, and then the dragon sickness. So there's a lot of stuff coming at him, which he's having to deal with. And, and quite fun to play. It's very, yeah, it is. And also, you know, knowing that, knowing that his grandfather was afflicted by, by this terrible madness and w basically walking towards the possibility of that for himself is, is very interesting to play because of course, he wants it. He wants in. He wants to go through the door, um, but but what's behind the door is possibly terrifying. And it's unknown as well. Unknown, it's quite yeah. Fun for, it's fun for us as well because even though people think they know the story, it's interesting to see it on screen and to see it developed in, in, in a different way. This gives more character almost, isn't there? Yeah. Some of the people that are, that are on the right. Yeah, and also I, th I, th I think when you're when you're spending that much time with the characters, it, the, the the further you can get into their psyche, their fears, their, their, their hopes, the, the more is at stake for, for the audience when, when they're engaged in those characters. And was it a case because there's such a rich, you know, source material, did, did Peter Jackson say, okay, you know, here's everything, <coughs> just go and tell me what you think, or did they have very specific instructions about where you should look? Um, you know, before, before you start filming, there's really not much discussion because they're on the other side of the world. So I, without, you know, t too much scholarship I, I i did you know instinctively go to all of the other tolkien stuff just hunting mm. for morsels of what it you know what it what his creation of a dwarf was looking for any history of, of the, i mean it's in the appendices of, of the lord of the rings which they are using for for these films um so yeah it's rich and and once you've looked at that you have a great reference and and you know there, there might be things that that i've picked up on that that they've missed um, and, and vice versa so it's great to have that discourse and uh, I've heard that you're going back <coughs> in May to uh, sort of finish off the shoot almost like complete it is that the case is it a case that you're sort of coming to the end of this enormous journey and it still hasn't finished yeah I mean they call them pickups but it's um, it's actually 10 weeks of shooting which is a, an entire movie really yeah. um, so I'm excited to know what it what's in store I know that there are more scenes that, that they are going to you know, filter through movies two and three to clarify the story. And of course, the Battle of the Five Armies, which mm. is, you know, in, a, in the book, Tolkien really does a Shakespeare on us and he describes the battle from afar. 
um, he doesn't really get into the to the strategies of that battle. But five armies of Middle Earth coming together, it's you know probably going to be at least twenty minutes of. of you know, screen time. It's amazing, 10 weeks for <coughs> 20 minutes or so. Yeah. Um, well, my very last question is, um, everyone who's seen and enjoyed The Hobbit, uh, the first film, tell us a bit more about what we can expect from you in the next film, the film that's coming out this year. Um, you're going to see um, Thorin leading his people deeper into trouble and making more mistakes um, to the point where they get um, captured by the woodland elves, which is possibly Thorin's worst nightmare to be captured by those people who were so um, dismissive of him and his, his, of his, his kind when, it, when uh, Smaug came to, to the mountain. So you're going to see them get into a much tighter, tighter spot. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time. Most of really you. Really looking forward to it.